Let us praise Yahuwah above all forever. Yahuwah's creation Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon is right here. And hopefully you can see Hopefully you can see the moon way up there, declaring it. Yes, the day was beautiful and I could see the moon all afternoon, declaring that your Sabbath was on its way. And so, it is your Sabbath. And here is the moon standing in its post so that all watchers, all who are in tune with Yah's word can see that the moon is declaring it. We are Yah's special people. And today I am just going to shit, what you call it, chit chat with us. The scripture is all about us. And like Yah says, the false prophet have led us astray. But we can see for ourselves that we belongs to Yah and not another. Yah's love for his people, Israel, Yashrael, is recorded in all the scriptures. The scripture is loaded with stories of how Yah fight for his people. We have the story where Yah led his people successfully out of Egypt's bondage. And all the nations were terrified because of Israel because all the nations around were conquered by Israel. And so the story relates where Balak sought Balaam the prophet to curse Israel so that he could have power over them. Yah did tell Balaam not to go, but he insisted because he wanted the money. During his journey to do what Balak has had asked, even the donkey spoke to him. But it is recorded in Numbers 24 that instead of cursing Israel, Balak bless Israel instead. And uh, a scheme was made by Balaam to cause Israel to go into sin. Just like a scheme has been arranged by this system 
to cause us to worship Rome's Lord God and Jesus Christ. Because like Balaam, Rome recognized that our the only way to defeat us as Yah's people is to cause us to sin. And so we have been worshiping a false god or a false deity for so long and we are trapped and we are oppressed and we are enslaved and we are falsely imprisoned but despite of that Yah tells us that he will deliver us a second time like he did for Israel and he will sanctify his name among the heathen and he will gather us and cause us to return and be safe in our own land. And there is the moon as you can you can see. Yes, I want us to see the moon declaring that it is your Sabbath. It is your Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon of the second biblical month. Ayar. Not, not, yes, Ayar. Eight. Six thousand and eleven. And so I'm just going to give us this date that I want us to have. And it is saying now that it is now three years, four months, one week, and five days. The equivalent of three lunar years, six months, one week, and a day since our Hebrew Leader, Yah's anointed servant is in Rome caveman prison. Yes, he has been targeted now. Three years, four months, a week and a day. I hope I have it right. And it is three lunar years, six months, one week and a day. And as we See that the anger of Yahuwah is on the, upon the nations and the world is being destroyed. And I am saying, let us realize that we need to walk in truth so that Yah can protect and deliver us because we, because he has chosen us above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. And I'm going to see if I can read something for us from the word. He says, this is what Father Yahuwah say. On that day, I will cleanse you from your iniquities. I will cause you to dwell in the cities. And the waste will be, oh, the waste will be rebuilt. 
and they will say, This land, which was desolate, has become a garden of Eden. The cities that were lain in ruins, waste, and destruction are now fortified and inhabited. Then the heathen that are left around you will know that I am Yahuwah. Rebuilt the ruin. I, Yahuwah, built, rebuilt the ruins and planted that which was desolate. I am Yahuwah. I, Yahuwah, have spoken. <sighs> so at this time we can see that the nations are being destroyed. Yes, places right now are in ruin. But all this will be rebuilt. Um, it is interesting to note that the eclipse was exactly three years and six months since Yah's anointed servant was targeted. Let me just say to us that the time that Rome have instituted does not count. Yah's time the time that counts is the time that we are looking at, which is determined by the new moon. I guess my phone is, I guess my phone is um, doing what it always do. But let us, Know that, know that your Sabbath is the great sign between him and his people Israel. And the Sabbath is like our passport. And even though the Sabbath is for Israel, it's not just for Israel. It is for all who pleases Yahuwah. So no one is exempt. Let us obey Yah. Let us keep his commandments. Let us turn away from unrighteousness because Yah said he will bring every work into judgment whether it be good or whether it be evil so as i have been saying let us be willing and obedient so that we may eat the good of the land for if we refuse and rebel and rebel, we will be devoured by the sword. Let us bear in mind that obedience is the highest order of worship. So keep your Sabbath. Do what pleases him so that we will be gathered from the nations that he has scattered us. So may Yahuwah favor us. May Yahuwah cause his face to shine upon us. May Yahuwah be gracious unto us.
May Yahuwah lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Shalom. I don't know what it does.